I'm moving my workshop space and this shed behind me is where it'll be going. Somewhat recently, I posted a video showing my workshop build that I created in our one car garage. And I was only able to use a small portion of the garage because my husband also uses it for a little side hustle he has fixing bikes. And we use it for storing all of our camping gear and other stuff like that. So it was just a little too crowded. And also when I'm working on stuff and there's sawdust flying everywhere, it was just getting all over the place, getting over the bikes that Kyle was working on. And that just wasn't sustainable long-term. So we decided that it would be better if I move into this shed space and then we move everything that we were storing in this shed into the garage. And the nice thing is this shed sits in our private patio so I can easily open the front door, set up some sawhorses and work outside. Whereas our one car garage sits in a communal parking lot that um, all of our neighbors and the other apartments use. So it'll be much nicer to have a private patio to work in when sanding and such. All right, let's get into it. I took measurements and found that the inside space was about nine feet, seven inches by seven feet, five inches. With all the boxes cleared out, it actually felt pretty roomy, but I'm sure that'll change as I start bringing stuff in. Once I had my measurements, I cleaned out the mini cobwebs and piles of dust before starting to plan the layout of the shop. My husband made this workbench a while ago and put down some particle board temporarily to serve as a shelf, but I thought that since I was moving it, it would be a good time to replace it with a sheet of plywood. Okay, so today the plan is to finish up the workbench and then I'm gonna build a box for scrap wood storage. And then lastly, I'm gonna bring in the cabinets that I already have for storing tools over here in this corner. And then I might put some stuff on the wall for hanging stuff like the brushes, other tools like that. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it.
Next, I put up a pegboard that I had above the workbench to hold some of my frequently used tools and PPE for easy access. My previous scrap wood shelf was already overflowing, so I decided to build a bigger storage box for larger pieces of scrap wood. Once the scrap wood storage was done, it was time to move on to setting up the bandsaw. My mother-in-law was kind enough to give us this bandsaw she was no longer using. It was in pretty good shape, except the bandsaw table had a lot of rust on both the top and underside. After some quick Google research, I found many people recommending soaking rusted metal in distilled vinegar to get rid of the rust. So I decided to give that a try. Okay, so this has been sitting in the vinegar for about five hours and there's just a ton of bubbles coming up still, which is just the vinegar doing its job. Um, and it seems to really be working. There's already a ton of rust that looks like it's been flaking off and I really haven't disturbed it. So I think it's working really well. Um, I'm gonna leave it in a bit longer just because there was so much rust on this piece. It worked really well and the metal was looking almost new. I finished the tabletop off with WD-40 to help protect it from future rust. So it's the next day. I still have some stuff to get done today. I didn't bring in the cabinets and the other tools, so I gotta get that done. And then I'm building this, this bandsaw um, stand and bringing the bandsaw in and setting that up. Um, after that, it'll probably just be about general organization, cleaning up, and then I think the space will be usable and ready to go. So, almost there.
We got these cool wall mounts for our rechargeable tools that allows you to attach the tool via its battery port while you charge the battery. I also got these wheels with brakes for the bottom of the bandsaw stand so I could easily move it about as needed. They can handle a max load of 2,000 pounds, so they're overkill for our tiny bandsaw, but they get the job done. It's all done. I'm really stoked on how the space came out. It's definitely an upgrade from what I had before in the garage. I hope this goes to show that no matter how small of a space you have to work in, you can make it a really functional space for you to work on your projects. If you enjoyed the process of this build, please let me know below. If you have any other suggestions of what I should do with this space or improvements I should make, I'm down to hear them. And if you want to see the types of projects that I work on here in the future, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.